rare adventures of Biggles. As the first stage of his search for the missing papers on the island of Inagua, Biggles splits his party into three. Bertie stays to guard the plane in Man War Bay, Biggles and Tom Haymans go in search of the stolen yacht, the Vega, and Algy and Ginger strike overland towards the pear-shaped lagoon. It is their task to find an actual lead to the papers. The lagoon is only about four miles from their anchorage, but the going is dreadfully rough. As the day wears on, Algy thinks many times of giving up and returning to the plane. But they push on. They force their way through foul swamps and cut themselves to pieces in forests of matted thornbush, yet seem to be getting nowhere. It is in one of these thornbush clumps that a wild boar bars their path. For a moment it regards them balefully. Then, at a movement from Algy, the huge animal charges. Algy screams and goes down under its weight. Algy! Hold it! I'll get the brute! Stay still, confound you! <laughs> There. That's fixed him. Just a second, Algy. I'll, I'll roll him away from you. I know, Algy. He's clear. You can get up now. Algy. Good grief, he hasn't... No. No, he's still alive. Poor old blighter. Must have cracked his head as he went down. Hang on, old man. I'll... I'll put down my gun and get some water from the bottle. That'll bring you around. If Fiddy's not dead. What? Morgan! So, you don't forget, eh? I'm not likely to forget you, you swine. You tried to kill me back in Kingston. Like I say about the other man, it's a pity I don't do it. Eric was a fool to let him live. Think so? Sure, I think so. They're in our way, aren't you? Perhaps you're in ours. Bah. You won't find anything. Why, I think the shrats. All you do is make a nuisance. You're right there, chum. You'll be surprised how much of a nuisance we are to you before we're finished. Not you, chum. What do you mean? The others make a nuisance, maybe, but not you. Or that other rat lying on the ground there. I'm still not with you, Morgan. No? Maybe this will explain to you. Put that razor away, Morgan. When I put it away, I'm not happy. You want me to be happy, don't you? I want you to use some sense. Look, Morgan, these antics of pulling out a razor and stropping it on your hand don't frighten me. You're a liar. You're terrified. I wouldn't count on that. I I don't want any fuss, that's all. And why did you interfere where you were not wanted? It's my job. For that matter, why are you interested in these papers? I thought your game was politics. My game is to wait out the swine who rule Jamaica. When they rise and kill the white pigs, the English, then my work will be done. And how do you think these papers will help you do that? There are other countries who will help. They will use the papers. They will wipe out not only the English in Jamaica, but the English everywhere. Then we will be free. <laughs> you can forget that idea. No one will wipe us out. Not you. Or the fool who is lying at your feet. You will be dead. Be sensible, Morgan. You can't get away with this. No. <coughs> uh, you'll need to be faster than that, old boy. Uh, Dad's do you. You don't escape that way. Maybe I was too slow, but not this time. Uh, 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 now, uh, I hold you. I get the reason uh, to your throat. Uh, no fear, you don't. Uh, uh, keep back. Uh, if you try any more tricks, I'll plug you I, again. You, you shoot me. <laughs> English swine, you shoot me. I only winged you. Uh, Next time, you mightn't be so lucky. Keep away from that razor. Leave it lying on the ground. I'll kill you. For this, I'll kill you. <laughs> I seem to have heard that story before. Now, clear out. I'm becoming bored with the repetition. There will be no more mistakes. I'll kill you. I said scram, Morgan. Turn round and keep walking. And don't forget my gun's pointing at your back. Now, get going. I won't forget this. You'll be sorry you pulled that gun. You'll die for that. 
Whew. Oh, now let's see the poor old algae. Hmm. Be a while before he comes round. He's had quite a bump. Still, better that than a slit throat. This way, Biggles. I'm sinking into the ooze at every step. Even so, we must explore it, Tom. <clears throat> Foul place, isn't it? Oh, ghastly. The smell enough is alone to frighten me off. <laughs> it won't hurt us. Just the normal smell of mangrove swamp. Do you seriously think we'll, we'll find the Vega in here? If she's at the island, we will. This is the only possible hiding place. Oh, but she couldn't get in here. There's a tangle of trees and roots. And not only that, there's no depth of water. It's either mud or a couple of inches of stinking slush. In a mangrove swamp, you'll often find an arm of deeper water that cuts right into the center. It's something like that I'm looking for. Well, if they've found one, they're welcome to it. I wouldn't make my headquarters in a place like this. <laughs> Von Stahlhein and his pals are on a dirty mission. They won't mind wallowing in filth. Oh, holy smoke! It's all right, Tom. Oh, someone's shooting at us. That was narrow. <laughs> Don't you believe it? But it was. It cut right in front of my nose. Oh, there. You can see it's sticking in the mud. It's a mangrove seed. There's a shoot on it like a dart. All mangrove seeds are like that. They fall from the trees and embed themselves in the mud. I, I could have sworn someone was potting at me. <laughs> Only the tree above you. It probably resented you prowling around its roots. Oh, incidentally, have you noticed that the roots give a better foothold? We'd make more speed if we used them as, uh, well, sort of stepping stones, wouldn't we? Better than slushing through this mud. Well, you can try it. Although I've become so attached to my mud now, I feel strange without it. But we'll give it a go. Clamber from tree to tree and see if we can keep out of the mud. Yeah. You all right, old man? Yeah. My foot slipped, that was all. Ah. Then he went head first into this mud. We were trying to step up the pace too much. It's no use expecting to move fast through here. I want to get over and clear out of the place. Oh, honestly, Biggles, I'm dying for a breath of fresh, clean air again. Keep your voice down. What is it? Through the trees there. Do you see it? The Vega with von Stahlhein and Zoratov sitting on the deck. That must be the arm of deep water I was expecting. Yeah. Well, we've, we've seen them. Can we clear out now? Not on your life. Those blokes are talking... And I'd like to know what about. You're not suggesting we go right up to the yacht. Why not? I can make out the deep water now. She's moored to a tree on the far side of it. We can make our way round the arm and hide in the trees by the boat. Oh, it'll take us another hour to move round there. Possibly. But it'll be worth it, Tom. I'd put up with a great deal of discomfort to learn von Stahlhein's plans. <laughs> Morgan is taking a long time, Eric. Too long. I don't trust the swine. Enough of that talk. Napoleon Morgan has done excellent work for us. I'm not interested in what he has done. I don't trust him. He has gone to check the lagoon against the photographs. It is a simple task in which he can do no harm. He can find Hagen's plans and then lose them to the English. You are crazy. The English are not here. Boris, I have pointed out to you already. A plane flew over the island this morning. I suspected it was Bigglesworth's. It did not land? I am not sure. It is easy to fly a plane across a strip of land and then to double back at low altitude so that no one is seen. We can see so little from this cursed place. Sure. You worry too much, Eric. Allow me to know what is best. It was better for Morgan to do this initial laborious work so that you and I could rest. It was dangerous. I should have gone myself. Always you argue against Morgan. What is your complaint? He is of mixed Spanish and Negro blood. A mulatto. 
No German would ever trust a Spaniard or a Negro. I certainly would place no faith in a mulatto. Morgan has worked well for our cause. That is what matters. In his political capacity, he has made much trouble for the British in Jamaica. Political. His politics are slit throats. Perhaps those are the politics which most help our cause. In my country, too, there have been slit throats. Oh, I, uh, I say nothing against your people, boys. You do when you criticize Morgan. He is our servant, just as you are. Do not forget that. They shall do the work I am paid to do. Hmm. And do not forget that Morgan hates the English. On this assignment, that is an advantage. He hates them, but he does not understand them. Bigglesworth and his men may prove too clever for Morgan. That is why I do not trust him. Charles, this Bigglesworth... Sometimes you talk of the man as if you had an affection for him. No. I've had many enemies, but few have stimulated me as Bigglesworth has. He is the only man who has ever defeated me. That has created in me an admiration, a respect for him, an affection? No. When the time comes, I will kill him as I kill this mosquito. Perhaps the time will come on this trip. Who knows? What is that? In the trees. The English! It must be the English! Shoot! Von Stahlheim whips his gun out and blazes into the mangroves. Will Biggles and Tom be caught there? Who will be the first to find the missing documents? Don't miss the next chapter of The Air Adventures of Biggles! Biggles!